All right, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add that continue button and we're going to add the extra slides to make the buttons work. So first off, we're going to just copy one of these with a control C and then a control V. Put that right down here. Instead of section three, we will call it continue. We'll give it a name, continue. And we don't want it to be visible on launch, so we're going to go ahead and hide it. Now let's go ahead and make it a different color. So under your states, you actually have three states, your normal, your down, and your rollover. So for the normal, we're going to give it a purple color. For the rollover, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a gradient as well, and we're going to give it purple. But this time we're going to flip the colors around. That way you'll be able to see the rollover happen. And I can tell that this black text is not going to work for us, so we probably want to change that to white. There you go. So now we have our button, and you can see the rollover happen. We can see that it's called continue, and we can see that it's not visible on output. So let's go ahead and preview this just to verify that. And there's our three buttons, one, two, and three. There is no continue button and there's no check marks. So now let's go ahead and add our sections. So we will insert a new slide that's a blank slide. And again, a blank slide. So we have section one, section two, section three, and then section four. We'll go ahead and name these. So this is section one. This is section two. This one is section three. And the last one is section four. Now we need to be able to tell them apart, so we'll go ahead and put a text caption on here. And this will say section one. One. Go ahead and shrink that up, center it on the page. And we'll copy that. And we'll put it on each one. But of course, we'll need to change it. So this one should be section two. This one should be section three. And this one should say section four. Now, what happens when they get to the section? They gotta be able to go back. So we need to name this one menu, so it's usable. And what we'll do is actually we'll copy this button here and we'll paste it on here put it right below we'll change this and say back to menu okay copy that copy that copy that and we don't need that one to go back because that's section four they'll be out of the section so, now let's go ahead and on section one, we want them to be able to click that button and jump to section one. On section two button, we want them to jump to section two. And on section three, we want them to jump to slide that is section three. This button here we'll jump to slide section four. And for now we need to make these back to menu buttons work. So let's go ahead and click on that one. That will go to jump to slide menu. Same with this one, jump to slide, slide one menu. And same with this one, jump to slide one menu and we don't care about section four yet. So let's go ahead and preview this. 
there's our three buttons. Section one takes us to section one. We can go back and back and back. So everything seems to be working. So now the next step in the next video is going to be adding the variables.